This video is about fixing a problem with Alienware computers that came up uh, for me after a recent update. Actually, it's been a few months it's been happening. And what the problem is, and I know a lot of people have it because uh, in looking for a solution for this, I've seen it hundreds of times and nobody seems to have the answer, but I did find the problem. Um, what happens is you get a uh, what's called a uh, user account control pop-up that keeps coming up over and over and over again. A lot of people say it happens uh, when they first log on. In my case, it was happening every time I walked away from the computer and uh, I'd go to wake it up again. I would get this box pop up in the middle and it would say um, it was asking for permission for uh, the control center. And it didn't say what the control center wanted to do. It just says permission for control center. Uh, in doing research on it, people were speculating all kinds of wild things about what this was from, that it was some kind of virus that they had or Trojan or something. It's none of those things. It's, it was something that with that update that Microsoft did for, uh, I think it was a Windows 10 update that uh, interfered with the way the Alienware software was running. So uh, the solution for it is uh, really pretty simple. Uh, all you have to do is go to... Uh, a website for Alienware support, and then uh, go here to, and when you log in there, uh, it'll ask you uh, to put in your ID number for your computer. And, and by the way, this does uh, appear to happen with every one of the Alienware computers, but all the laptops, as well as the different desktops. Mine happens to be an Aurora but uh, it, it also has the problem with the other desktops. <clears throat> so you just enter your computer there and uh, go to drivers and downloads here. And then when you scan down here, you'll see Alienware Command Center for Desktop. And uh, you can click that, download it, and it'll come in. And the line I have fast speed, it only takes a few seconds for it to come in. And then you're going to, uh, you can, if you're using Chrome, it'll be right down here on the bottom bar. You can just uh, click on that to execute it. Uh, after you execute it, uh, you'll have to do a restart. And uh, in my case, that's taking care of it completely. Uh, I have not had that pop up box again since I did this, uh, I think it's two days ago now. When I would restart my computer or just start up in the mornings, about every third or fourth time, it would turn off the lighting on the computer. It would just give me a message that it shut off uh, uh, the Alienware lighting. And I'd have to go back in and manually turn it on every time. Uh, this solution seems to have actually fixed that problem as well. So... Uh, Either one of those problems, this will do it. All, basically, all you're having to do is, is download this Alienware Command Center uh, to reinstall it, click on the execute file, uh, restart the computer, and that should take care of your problem. Hope it helps.